Okay, what we're going to do with this vodcast is continue with our dimensional analysis problems, and we're going to look at some things outside simply metric conversion. So let's take a look at number one. Let me get a pen here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to convert centimeters to inches. So it's not going to be as simple as just a metric conversion, but you still need to know your metric conversions. So let's start with the given, 132.5 centimeters. And again, we're going to set up our first conversion. So we're starting with centimeters. So centimeters goes in the denominator, and we're going to convert to inches. Well, you'll be given some conversions, and one of those will be 2.54 centimeters is equal to 1 inch. So our centimeters cancel, and we do the math, 132.5 divided by 2.54 and we get 52 so we get 52.17 inches okay let's take a look at something that involves an English unit for example let me get another pen here for example we're gonna take a look at converting between gallons and cups and again, you would be given uh, the relationship between those. So let's start with the given, 16 gallons. Let's set up our first conversion. Again, gallons goes in the denominator. Now we want to know if there's a conversion from gallons to cups. Well, I know there's a conversion from gallons to quarts, and there's four quarts in one gallon. So that way our gallons cancel. We have quarts. So again, what is in the numerator here goes in the denominator and I can go from quarts to cups and I know one quart contains four cups so our quarts cancel we've got cups when we do the math we get 200 256 cups okay let's take a look at some conversions involving distance so again, let me get a pen here, and let's go from kilometers to miles. So we're going to start with the given, 65.5 kilometers, and we'll set up our first conversion, and hopefully this is becoming routine now, and we're going to put kilometers here. Now we want to go from kilometers to miles. Now, if you know the conversion from kilometers to miles, that's, that's fine. You can go right to that. But let's say you don't know that conversion and you only know the conversion from inches to feet. Well, we know the conversion from centimeters to inches, so we want to get to centimeters. So I'm going to go from kilometers to miles. Now this is where it's important to understand the metric conversions that we talked about earlier. There's a thousand meters in a kilometer, and then I know one meter contains a hundred centimeters. This way, my kilometers cancel, my meters cancel, and now I'm at centimeters. And I know that there's 2.54 centimeters in every inch, and then I can continue my conversions knowing there's 12 inches in a foot, and then 5,280 feet in one mile. Now again, if you knew the conversion from kilometers to miles, you could do that, but this technique allows you to find those conversions or find the answer if you don't know that direct conversion. I'll let you do the math on that one just to save myself a little bit of time. All right, let's take a look at another one but this time it's going to involve compound units. In other words, a unit in the numerator and a unit in the denominator. So let's get a pen here and let's take a look at number 26. We've got 100 kilometers per hour. Now what I want to do is go from kilometers per hour to miles per hour. So what I need to do is convert kilometers to miles. Now our hours to hours, obviously we don't have to convert that, so we would just convert kilometers to miles. So the conversion would be one kilometer, like we did earlier, 
uh, is a thousand meters. One meter, a hundred centimeters. Two point five four centimeters in an inch. Twelve inches in a foot, and then five thousand two hundred eighty feet in a mile. So when we're done canceling, what's going to be left is inches, inches, feet, feet. You're going to be left with miles and hours. All right, let's take a look at, let's see if there's another one that we can look at that might illustrate that concept. All right, let's use the, the density conversion here. Let me get myself the pen again. And let's convert a density, let me start this over here, of 4.52 grams per milliliter. And what I want to do is convert to kilograms per liter. So I've got grams per milliliter, and I want to go to kilograms per liter. So what I need to do is convert the numerator unit to kilograms and the denominator unit to liters. So let's do one at a time. So let's take our grams, put that in the denominator, and I know I can go from grams to kilograms. There's a thousand grams in one kilogram, so that way when the units cancel, now I've got kilograms and milliliters. But I want liters, so I need to convert that denominator unit also. So if milliliters is in the denominator, we simply need to put milliliters in the numerator so they cancel and then I know milliliters and liters. There's a thousand milliliters for every liter. So those units cancel and then what's left is kilograms and liters. So when I do the math there, 4.52 divided by a thousand times a thousand gives me 4.52. So our value doesn't change but our unit does. Now later we'll discuss if you know that there's a difference between a thousand between that and a thousand between that you can just go right from the unit to the unit but if you didn't know that at, uh, right off the top of your head you would use that conversion. Alright let's uh, we have time to do one more quick one so let's do 73.5 kilometers per hour and we want to go to meters per second so let's change the kilometers first. So we'll put kilometers, meters, one kilometer, thousand meters. So our kilometers cancel. And now we want to go hours to seconds. So hours to minutes would be one hour, 60 minutes. And then we could go minutes to seconds. And one minute is 60 seconds. So our hours cancel our minutes cancel and what we're left with is seconds. So we would do the math 73.5 times 100 divided by 60 divided by 60 and we would get 2.04 um, the unit left over is meters over seconds. We've got meters and seconds. One thing I want to point out is that even though hours was here and we skipped a unit and it's over here, they still cancel.